And many people think that fruits are very healthy. And that brings us to myth number two, that the fructose and the sugar in fruits is somehow magical and somehow different than the fructose that is contained in, say, a Pepsi Cola. On my left is the uh, sucrose, glucose, and fructose molecules that occur in fruit. And on the right is the sucrose, glucose, and fructose molecules that occur in a 20-ounce uh, Coca-Cola. Now, I want you to look very carefully and see if you can notice any difference in the molecular structure of these molecules. Now, of course, that's a trick question because they're exactly the same. There's no difference. There's nothing magical about fruit sugar. And that brings us to the third myth about fruits and the sugars they contain is that somehow, even though fruits contain all the sugar, they, they also have fiber and they have uh, vitamins and minerals and they have phytonutrients in them. So somehow, the goodness of those things outweighs the badness of the sugar. And so my answer to that myth would be, what if I took a 20 ounce Coca-Cola and I put some vitamin C and some polyphenols in there and I put some fiber in there, then would that Coca-Cola, would that be a healthy thing to give to your young child? No, it's still sugar coma, even though you put those good things in there. And so my, I don't hate fruit. I love fruit. I love mangoes. That's my favorite fruit. I could eat a pound right now. But if I did that, I would develop some degree of fatty liver and my blood sugar would shoot sky high. So in, in, in deference to my health, I choose not to eat fruit very often at all because it's too high in sugar. I fatten easily and I, I develop hyperinsulinemia very easily. I become pre-diabetic very easily. And so I eat a diet that keeps my blood sugar and my insulin levels very low and keeps my liver free of fat. I think that the health that that brings more than outweighs the flavor that I'm missing from not eating fruit. So I hope this short video clears up some of the myths out there. And if you know someone, a very prominent doctor, dietitian, uh, internet guru, who are saying things that obviously are not true, you might consider sharing this video with them, and you're also welcome to share it on your favorite social media. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.